Hello there. In this video, I want to show you how to install this mod, which allows you to have all sorts of different weather effects in your Fallout New Vegas game, including rainy, snowy weather, and bunch of sandstorms, up to like 400 plus weather effects. Now, to do this, first we need to download this mod manager. It is a must. I could not get this to work without a mod manager. The one I'm using here is the Vortex one. So we just go ahead and download it here. All the links will be in the video description for everything we will need to download. Now, once it's done downloading, we're just gonna go ahead and install it. And we leave this check mark uh, checked. And yeah, that launches the software. Then we go here to the uh, notification. We click on the restart if it shows us that notification. Then we go ahead to the games section we search for our game here fallout new vegas and we locate where the game is installed here for me it's located in this folder this pc c drive games but it could be located in a different folder for you maybe in the steam apps folder if you have the steam version so yes we locate this folder and then we uh, close this window we click on manage it's gonna close then uh, we download all these four uh, mods I'll leave like I said before links to these in the video description so how to download them we just click manual download here and we click on the orange download button we click on slow download then we do the same thing for the other three. Now, when I am done downloading these, I'm just gonna line them up in my um, desktop. So for this one, we download the bug fix too as well. I don't have a tab open for it, but yes, it's there. Now, once we download all these files, we go ahead and locate our um, installation folder where the game is installed. We go to the data folder. Now this one we're going to install manually. We go ahead and drag um, the folder inside the data NVSE New Vegas script extender. We drag it into the data folder and we go back here and we drag everything all these files into where the fallout launcher is located now for the rest of these we're gonna we're gonna install them through the vortex manager now we launch our vortex mod manager now once it's open we select the archive and validation we make sure it says yes and then we go to our mods section now in the mod section in the top left we click on the install from file option then we select first the uh, GIP we click on open it's gonna install all see notifications at the top right and when it turns green it means it's installed now we go ahead and do the next one make sure to install them in the same order as i am doing here so let's go ahead to the uio now next one is going to be the mod configuration mod menu um, so yeah we it's gonna have this pop-up we click on install now next one is gonna be the bug fix for this mod it's gonna say a an error but we'll fix that in a bit now the last one Nevada skies this one will take a little bit for it to extract the files and install them 
and now for fixing the order of the uh, this yellow message it it has a problem with the order of these mods so the way to fix it now we click on this notification we click on this part right here then it's gonna give us these drop downs we make sure that we select before for this one and after for the one at the top once we're done we click on save that will close the uh, window now in this in this plugins section we're gonna find all the mods we have and the ones we have enabled now we just minimize the window and we are done only thing left is for us to launch the game through the loader not through the launcher or anywhere else now we locate this in the where the game is installed we can make a shortcut for it for easier access or we can just open it from here i'm going to select this checkbox right here so it doesn't bother me with that pop-up now i'll show you the mod in action this one is the mod configuration menu it shows us all the mods we have and settings for them now in the climate i enabled all those options you've seen in the previous window you can uh, mess around with those settings if you want now this is the mod in action with one of the weather effects this is the sandstorm one so yeah that's it if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the videos comment section and yeah that's it i hope this helps you and peace out Howdy,